Hello friends! If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by and I hope you enjoy it. For those of you who are my fans and subscribers, welcome back and thank you for the patronage. Today we are talking about our path to religion, H. Erectus. Not much you need to say, so let's get on with the video. With H. Havilus, our path to religion started. This hominin had a modest increase in brain size that made them smarter. As a result, this species could make tools, use tools to make other tools, and store tools for future use. The frontal and parietal regions that are associated with intelligence continue developing over the next two million years ensuring that the offspring of Homo habilis would be even smarter. Another leap in cognitive development occurred in Homo erectus, who lived about 1.8 million years ago to 300,000 years ago. Recently, archaeological evidence has suggested that H. habilis and H. erectus coexisted for almost 500,000 years in what is now Kenya. This replaces the idea that Homo erectus descended from Homo habilis. H. erectus was taller than H. habilis and possessed a much larger brain, ranging from 750 to 1250 cc's making the H. erectus brain on average 60 percent larger than that of H. habilis. As expected, this had an effect on behavior. Instead of stone tools being crudely flaked on one side like that of H. habilis, H. erectus made stone tools that were flaked on both sides called hand axes. It appears they also made the first weapons, specifically to hunt animals. Wood spears up to six feet long have been found in Germany, England, and Spain, where H. erectus hunted large game. They were also the first to control fire. Exactly when and how this happened is disputed, Yet evidence suggests controlled use of fire by 790,000 years ago. This marked a major milestone in human evolution because fire can be used for warmth and protection from predators as well as cooking, which kills bacteria and parasites in food and makes it easier to digest. Fire can also be used for smoking, which makes meat storable. Better nutrition may have been one reason Homo erectus had a bigger brain. Also, cooking encouraged social interaction as early hominins gathered around the fire to eat their food. Larger brains led not only to behavioral expansion, but geographic expansion as well. We can find no evidence that hominins left Africa before 1.7 MYA, yet between 1.7 MYA and 700,000 years ago, H. erectus spread around half the world, from Africa to Eurasia. The fact that Homo erectus could survive varying climates attests to the hominin's ability to adapt and cooperate in groups. This also probably marked the birth of clothing since the new areas were much colder than Africa. H. erectus made remarkable progress cognitively and behaviorally compared to earlier hominins. They made sophisticated hand axes, sharpened wood for hunting, controlled fire, 
and migrated out of Africa. It is reasonable to assume that these progressions are linked to bigger brains. However, cooperative living and hunting suggests that something else was at work too. For this, we look to child development. It is generally accepted that children acquire skills in roughly the same order as they appeared in human evolution. I'm just going to skip to the part that's relevant. Children acquire self-awareness around two years of age. Prior to this time, they have minimal self-awareness and will react to their reflection as if it is another child. In the 1960s, a doctoral candidate demonstrated this by placing three to 24 month olds in front of a mirror. Only 20 to 24 months old showed self-recognition and even then only two thirds demonstrated this skill. Well, friends, we've come to the end of another episode. We will pick up next time on the self-awareness of Homo habilis. If you like this kind of content, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button, and if you would like to be notified when I come out with new content, please hit the bell next to the subscribe button. My Twitter, Discord, email, and PayPal links are in the description along with the source that I used for this particular episode. Please leave comments in the comment section. I love hearing from you. Question everything and never be afraid. Here are a couple of videos from my library. If you have not watched them yet, go ahead and watch them and tell me what you think. Also, please remember I am now taking requests. You can leave those in the comments as well. I would like it to be something on religion, but it doesn't have to be. Until next time, folks, goodbye.